Yeah, I'll hold. Hello, ITV. How is it going? What, you just unleashed the new cast of Love Island and you're only telling me that now? How am I supposed to explain this to my subscribers? Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth and fancy seeing you here and you are very welcome my friends and especially my enemies. So, just now I found out that they unleashed the cast of this year's Love Island. I've already seen the video but we're going to go for it ourselves. Now, I can't actually show you on screen but we can listen to the audio because it's fucking hilarious. Oh, can't sit down. Hi, I'm Joe. I'm Amy. I'm Amber. I'm Amber. Callum. Anna. Sharif. Curtis. I'm Lucy. Michael. You one day. Tommy. <laughs> it's getting confusing. I'm never going to remember these names. I'm buzzing. I, I can't wait to go into that villa. I can't wait to have the best summer ever. This summer's going to be the best summer of my life. So I've been a firefighter for almost two years. Looks and personality wise, I'd say I'm a ten. I would say a humble nine, a but ten? No, being mate, a hero kind of puts me up to that ten. Oh mate. I don't even have to say I'm living my best life because you just know that I am. I do like to get my own way most of the time. So my type of girl, I'm not really that fussy looks wise, as long as I have that initial attraction. If I could be what I'm like with the boys around them and they actually like me for it, I'll stick a ring on it. I've heard it all before, you know. Welcome aboard this Love Island flight to the villa. Life as an air hostess is really fast paced. You're here, there and everywhere, which makes finding a boyfriend really impossible. Well, no, don't use that. My friends would say my better smooth all pretty up because of the way I pick up girls in the club. I always get the nicest looking girl out of all my friends. In the villa this year, you're probably going to hear some new and weird words. Bev, Bev nished up, fluffed off, woof. Oh yeah, okay. There is 70% of me which is an old man in a young person's body. I like 50s, 60s music, absolutely love it in fact. Having Middle Eastern parents, I'm like at that age now where they are on my case. Like you're 28 years old and uh, you need to find someone, you need to get married, you need to have kids. Oh god. That's hard. No, I was always like kind of like the friend zone type kid, but um, I grew up and a few years ago I had a glow up. I started to look alright. <laughs> Sandwich man's a late blue one. Shows his ass. <laughs> I used to laugh at that. When I tell guys I'm a scientist, I don't think they really say much. I think it's just like the look of like shock and horror a little bit. I'm really, really bad at flirting. I couldn't flirt if you paid me to. Terrible. Oh well. <laughs> Shame. I'm related to the best heavyweight in the world, Tyson Fury, and I know he's backing me all the way. I'd like to think I'm the full package from the waist down. I've been single for about a year and a half. I'm labelled as a bit of a player where I'm from. Not because I tea time, but just because I just you don't really waste yourself. time. If I describe myself in three words, I guess I'm fun. I'm very fun. 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 Pretty flamboyant. Good fun. That's what we'll say. Crazy. Slightly crazy. Cheeky. Definitely could be cheeky at times. Spontaneous. And a bit weird. Funny. I'm funny. Honest. Funny. Bubbly. Bubbly. Energetic. Sassy. And a bit of a diva. Same word. Can I say something else? <laughs> Please I can't stay. wait to get in the villa. I'm going on Love Island, hopefully to find love, but also find a gorgeous girl with a nice bum to take home to mum. If people get on the wrong side of me, you'll know about it. I can't wait to get in the villa and get amongst it with all those fit girls. I'm coming to Love Island in hopes of finding love and finding, you know, the love of my life. Fingers crossed. Are all of the other lads shredded? <laughs> oh, that, that, is, that is so hilarious. But it's the funniest thing. Now, I'm sure most of you have now seen that video. And if you haven't, you're not missing much. Now, remember when they promised us we may have some different types of girls and boys in different sizes. That didn't happen. They're all very, let's just say, model looking. There are no surprises here. So we've got the tosser who just thought he'd let us know. He's Tyson Fury's cousin or something, right? Really glad. I don't know who Tyson Fury is. I know who Mike Tyson is, but I don't know who Tyson Fury is because I'm not really into the old boxing. Um, then there's the other guy who's the player with himself, right? And then there's the one who says he's a 10. And I've seen the video. He's no 10. Um, a lot of people are disappointed with this selection of people. 
Um, listen, this happens every year. It, look, if they're characters and, and they're going to entertain us, it's great. Um, I do remember last year, um, I don't think I was overly impressed with any of them. And I certainly wasn't impressed with the fact that Danny Dyer was allowed to be on this show because of who her dad is. But never mind, that's gone. She conned you in to her and her previous man winning the show. But that's in the past. I forgive you, Love Island fans. So I'm supposed to remember all those people's names. I don't remember their names, right? Can you remember their names? No. Anyway, so in about, what is it, about a week's time? No. Over a week's, yeah, no. This weekend, isn't it? No. Second, I think. It's the 2nd of June. It was said that'll be Sunday. It's kicking off Sunday. So this Sunday, Love Island is kicking off. And no matter my reservations about the people they've unleashed, they've got reserves, right? You have got reserves, haven't you, ITV? Look, look, ITV. Get me. 46 years old, don't worry about that. Oh, forget it. I've tried to apply. They're just not interested. So anyway, despite my reservations about the people that have been on tonight's kind of reveal, I'm looking forward to getting to know them as people. And hopefully at least one of them is as interesting and exciting and as hilarious as Georgia was last year. Because if they're not, we're in trouble.